Got another question on the periodicity topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay so part A the diagram for metallic bonding in barium so we need to have um, a lattice a regular arrangement of Ba2 plus ion so I always draw three rows of three and I always offset the middle row so they would need to be labelled up and we need to just dot some electrons around in the spaces and label them up as delocalised electrons. So why has it got a high melting point? So that's because a large amount of energy is needed to overcome the strong electrostatic attraction between the Ba2 plus ions and the delocalised electrons. Part B, so when group 2 elements react with water we get the group 2 hydroxide, and that's an aqueous solution form, and hydrogen gas. So the equation for barium and water looks like that. The pH just needs to be anything between 8 and 14. So because barium's fairly close to the bottom of group 2, I'm going to go for 12. The formula of the negative ion responsible for the conductivity of the solution, well, there's the solution there, and the negative ion in there is the hydroxide ion, so it's OH minus. Part C, state the compound of magnesium that could be used to treat heartburn. So we could either go for magnesium oxide, magnesium hydroxide, or magnesium carbonate. Part D now, so the students added excess hydrochloric acid to strontium carbonate. So you would see bubbles. You don't have to qualify that it's CO2, but they are carbon dioxide bubbles. And because the acid's in excess, the strontium carbonate would dissolve. So both of those would be needed there. And the equation looks like that. Strontium chloride's made from a metal and a non-metal, so it's an ionic um, substance. So we need to have the um, Sr2 plus ion. You can get away with not drawing any electrons there if you don't want to. And you'd need two chloride ions. And because I've used crosses for my strontium, I would need to refer to the gained electron uh, for the chloride ions as crosses. And finishing off with part E, so they're adding chlorine water to aqueous strontium bromide. So obviously chlorine is going to displace the bromine. It's more reactive than bromine. So the displaced bromine in aqueous conditions is going to have a sort of yellowy orange colour. The ion equation for the reaction looks like that. And finally, an explanation of why chlorine is more reactive than bromine. So we'd need to say that chlorine's got a smaller atomic radius. It's got fewer shells, therefore less shielding. And just remember, what's chlorine doing? It's wanting to gain an electron. So because of these things here, chlorine has a greater nuclear attraction for the gained electron than in bromine.